How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about one of these right here. This is Google's new Google Home. Let's go do this. Oh yeah guys, I'm excited about this one. Right there it is, Google Home. And we're going to go ahead and open it up and uh, take a closer look. So let me uh, cut the wrappers and we'll open this up. This is really cool. I'm pretty excited about this because, um, you know, I, I haven't had, don't have very many smart things in my my home right now. I really need to get look into Nest and some of the other smart features, uh, Nest camera, Nest thermostat. But um, I'm really excited about this. I want to get a couple of these things. You can see I actually have another one right here. I already opened to check it out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing here on camera so you guys can see what's in here. And it's actually very nicely presented. So we're going to go ahead and slide off the cover right there and you can see it's got a nice little tab right here and voila yeah it opens up real real clean um very very cool so i'm gonna go ahead and take this device out and then down in the box here we've got a little insert that just holds it perfectly in there which is actually kind of nice then there is some directions and we'll go through that in a second because there's some good stuff in there and then you have a power brick so you can see that this is not a usb type of power brick and there's a really a good reason for that um, because this thing sits flush when you plug it into the device which is actually quite nice and then there's your power brick got the google branding on it um, it does come with a little flap to keep it under control so that's really cool we're going to set that to the side actually we're going to set all this to the side and we're going to take a closer look so probably the most important cards here are, is this one right here, which basically just shows you how to plug it in and to download the Google Home application on your Android device. I went ahead and downloaded that already on my Pixel XL right here. So we've got that on there. And then um, over here, it gives you some information that's actually kind of nice. So besides this lighting up right here on top with these little LEDs when you power it up, it also functions as a way to interface with the device. So you can actually tap for pause and play you can um, turn up and down the volume by kind of swiping like this on top of the device and then you can also turn the speaker on to, to ask Google a question by tapping it or you can just use your voice Google now of course would work as well uh, besides that it also shows you that around here in the back there is this little uh, button right here if you want it to turn off Google voice activation and you want it to only activate when you tap the uh, top of it for the speaker to activate. So if you don't want it to listen all the time, there is an option to do that as well. All right, so we did that, we checked through the directions. The other thing that's probably really helpful is this right here. This is a little piece of paper that is in there as well. And this just gives you some information of things that you can ask Google. Um, there's a pretty good list, everything from, you know, what time is it, play different music, control your media, um, turn up and down your thermostat if you have a Nest thermostat and so on and we'll show you some of those because they are pretty wicked cool so that being said let's take a look here at the device itself so you can see along the bottom you know just kind of like a rubbery mat right there and um, there you go probably see it easier so it's just kind of rubbery and then uh, just got this piece here there's a little plug that you can plug in right there and that's why that plug is specially designed and I'll show you that and, and then um, there's some mic pickups here here and that's pretty much all the way around it. And then this is, if you want to change your bases, you can actually pop them apart like that. So I don't know if you can see this in here, but see those little circles, those are magnets and they magnet to the base down here and everything magnets in well. So there I'll show it to you. So see those two, they magnet right to that. So these bases, if you want to get swappable bases, just magnetize right on. It's actually really, really, really well designed. I like it a lot. Um, so if you want to get a different bass, you can do that. So on the bottom down here, you can see we have three different uh, speakers. One, two, three. Obviously nothing on the back. Well, actually there's something on the back. So there is a micro USB port right there. Now, what does that mean exactly is interesting. I'm not sure. I want to hook it up to the computer. I kind of think this basically has a stripped down version of Android on it, honestly. Um, and I want to hook it up and see if I can get an ADB shell on it. So we'll see. Probably be something I'll be testing in the future. So that would be really, really cool to see. Uh, the other thing to note is that this port is actually in this piece. So don't like un pull this off while you have it plugged in. Probably not a good idea. 
Um, so let's show you the plug because I think that's a good thing to pay attention to and, and then why this plug is designed like it is because when you plug it in, it really sits flush, completely flush, actually subset a little bit. Um, so it makes it just so this thing just sits real, real nice and flat. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one power up. You can see some cool things on there. And I went ahead and actually already set up this Chrome uh, Google Home right here. And I got it all set up and ready to rock and roll. So what's cool about these, if you have multiples, is um, you can actually do Chromecast and you can have the same music playing in multiple different rooms, wherever you have multiples of these, or in the same room, whatever you want to do. So you see that it should be activated and ready to rock and roll. It basically is connected currently to my Wi-Fi in my home, and because of that, I can access Google. So we're going to ask it some cool uh, questions and just give you a, kind of some features of how it functions and just what it does. So, okay, Google, what can you do? I can help you with lots of things. For example, you can say, give me a trivia question, or what's hello in Portuguese. You can also see more examples in the Google Home app. Very cool, very cool. So you can see it, it repeats and talks to you very well. Now what I have noticed is that you have to actually go ahead and uh, activate it with the Google phrase every time you want it to actually do something. So we could do something like, okay Google, play Family Force 5. Sure, check out this Family Force 5 radio mix on Google Play Music. Oh yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Does... Okay, Google. Stop. So you can see that you can very easily stop the music again. Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Now you can't. There's some limitations to this thing. You can't do stuff like texting. So you go or making a phone call. So you can say something like, "Okay, Google, call my wife." Sorry, I can't make calls yet. So as you can see, it doesn't allow phone calls. It doesn't allow text messaging. So there's some things that you maybe could normally do with Google on a Bluetooth device that is just not functional here on the Google Home. So I don't know if those things are going to get added or what's going to happen there, but you know, still pretty interesting. If you're bored and you just want to, you know, get a, get a good laugh, you can ask Google to tell you a joke by saying, "Okay, Google, tell me a joke." One joke coming up. What's a computer's favorite beat? An algorithm. Yeah, <laughs> they're very corny, but my kids love them. So the other thing you can do is say, "Okay, Google, what am I doing today?" Good evening, Root Junkie. The time is 8.40 p.m. The weather in St. John currently is 48 degrees and clear, with a high of 63 degrees. Have a great day. Here's the latest news from NPR News okay, Summary Google. at 8 p.m. Stop. There you go. So it's pretty neat. I mean, you can do a lot of cool stuff. You can ask it the weather and, and, and so on, play music. You can sync it to things like I, um, to Google Music to Pandora, um, different music streaming services so that it can use your playlist and stream to the device. Um, I'm actually having a lot of fun with these. My kids are loving them. They're just asking the same questions like constantly and it is pretty entertaining. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to put these up. I got one in my living room, put this in my living room. Today. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this one Live somewhere from else. from NPR News in Washington. That's because I tapped it. Because um, I just basically paused it. But anyway, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty neat. I'm, I'm definitely liking them. They're very simple, elegant, easy to set up. I do wish that they had some kind of internal battery, and I could actually, instead of plugging them in like this, I wish you could like unplug it or it had a base. You could just set it on and pick it up and walk it somewhere else. Um, but unfortunately, they're not designed like that. You actually have to leave them plugged in for them to function. So a little disappointed about that, but... They're really designed to set somewhere on an end table somewhere in a room and, and, and they work really well. The other thing that's really nice about these that I was really, really impressed with, they work across the room without any problem. You can talk totally normal and this thing will pick you up from 20 feet away and answer your questions, everything. I mean, it's quite amazing. Now, if a lot of people are talking, it's going to be a little difficult, but if you're in your room by yourself, it's no problem across the room, just normal talking and it'll pick you up and answer your questions, anything you got to say. So... Um, big props to that. I mean, the, the, the pickup for the microphone is amazing. So 
there you go guys that is going to be my quick little uh review and kind of playing with uh google home definitely excited about these devices if you're interested definitely check them out on google play um, pick one up and play with it yourself i think you're going to love it uh, the other thing that's cool like i said is you can link these with chromecast and i have actually a chromecast audio and i have these two right here and i can play music on everything and i'll have music all over my house basically and uh it's really awesome so very 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 cool all right guys that's gonna wrap it up hope you've enjoyed this video here on google home if you'd like to see more of things you can do with Google Home, let me know in the comments below or maybe something I missed. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.